hello and welcome everyone to my channel it simplified in today's video i will show you how to attach a data disk to the virtual machine that we created in our last video so if you've been following this in the last video we created the vm with the name test vm and we deploy that in the virtual network and it is in running state right now and what we'll do is we'll attach a data disk so let me just go inside the virtual machine and under settings you have the option of disk so let me click on this and uh, click on add data disk and under the data disk I'll select create a disk and give the name test vm disk 1 and we will deploy this under the resource group which is test resource group uh, under the account type i'll keep it standard lrs which is standard locally redundant storage it means i will have three copies in the region that I have deployed this uh, virtual machine and under the source type i can deploy this via the snapshot storage blob or empty disk i'll prefer empty disk and uh, you can select the size uh, you want in my case i'll leave that to the default which is one terabyte which is equal to 1023 gig and uh, click on the create button Okay, after the validation, I can click on save. Okay, so it has successfully updated the virtual machine desk. So let me close this and uh, let me close this too. Now let me just RDP into the test VM. Now let's check if that virtual disk was de uh, deployed or not. So let me go to the file explorer and if I go on this PC, you will see that I still don't have that uh, disk attached to my uh, server. I only have the operating system and the D drive which is generated by default. So the reason behind that is that we still need to initial initialize that disk. So let me go to search and do disk management. Okay, and we need to initialize this disk so it can be MBR which is master boot record and click on OK and this is the disk we are trying to initialize so it's unallocated right now so right click and go to new simple volume click on next and yes that's the volume I want and you can uh, uh, deploy whatever drive letter you want to give to this disk so in my case it is E if I want but feel free to choose whichever you want so I'll leave that to the default and click on next next again and finish
Okay, so it's showing healthy partition. So let me just still cross check. Let's go to the file explorer and you can see that now I have the E drive added to my file explorer. And now I can utilize this uh, data disk for whichever purpose I want. Uh, with this, it brings me to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.